How's it going everyone? Adam here from Coding Basics and welcome to tutorial number 5 in my programming leap motion with Python series. Last video we went over uh, getting uh, data from each individual hand. In this tutorial we are going to continue that a little bit by uh, getting data from each arm attached to each hand. So we are going to be continuing on this for loop, so uh, press enter a couple times. So for each one of these hands in the frame.hands list, we want to create uh, an arm object. So arm equal to hand.arm. Now, all this is going to be is printing out some data uh, for each arm. So I'm going to print and then the uh, three things we're gonna print out are the direction of the arm, uh, wrist position as well as the elbow position. Alright so first uh, direction. So arm direction is gonna be the title of it and we're going to print this out by calling, or sorry, not by calling, but uh, by adding the string representation of arm dot direction. All right, now uh, that'll be uh, a vector where the coordinates represent which way your arm is pointing towards your hand. Uh, next, like I mentioned, is the wrist position. So you're going to have XYZ coordinate, which um, represents the uh, location of the center of your wrist. So wrist position, and we are going to have to convert to string the vector, which is arm dot wrist underscore position and then finally is our elbow position so uh, elbow position and we're going to convert the vector to a string once again and the vector is the arm dot elbow underscore position Alright, so I've already got PowerShell open. Navigate to the folder where you have uh, this saved. Sorry about that. Normally I would have it already in the right position, but I forgot. Alright, now we're going to run it. So launch Python and type in whatever the name of your file is. Mine is called leapmotionapp.py. So motion sensor connected. Okay, well we have an error already. Oops, I can already see it. Forgot an I in position. Okay, that should fix it. So I'm going to put my right hand over all right, that's enough. So let's look at some of this. Uh, so all the hand data we uh, went over in the last video is still working. So it did detect right hand, all the same IDs. Pitch roll and yaw is still coming out correctly. Now let's look at this. This is the uh, uh, direction vector of my arm, the wrist position, and then finally the last one is the position of my elbow, which is very amazing that it can pick up on that. Now uh, just to show you how uh, leap uh, motion vector this is the XY coordinate so X left to right it's positive um, 
from the center spot, it's positive uh, towards the right, and then towards the left, it's negative. Y is always positive. It's zero right on the screen surface, and then depth. So it's positive towards you if you have the green light facing you like I do, and then it's negative towards the screen. This is different from calculus because in calculus, the x-axis would be this one, the z-axis would be this one, and the y-axis would be this one. If I have that correct, I might have that mixed up, but 90% sure that's how it would be oriented. And right here is 0, 0, 0. So just so you get a better idea of the coordinates. But that's all I want to talk about in this video, getting data for each arm. Next video, we're going to go over getting data for each individual finger. So I will see you guys in that tutorial. Please leave a comment on the video, give the video a like, and subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate your support, and I will see you next time.